Ugh, Cyberpunk is hard to run. I'm at 38 frames per second. I'm on an RX 6800 XT. Well, that's because I'm trying to run the game. It's at 1440p, by the way. And I'm trying to run it on the ray tracing medium settings, which means alter everything and then kicking on the ray traced shadows and some of the ray traced lighting. And we know that the 6800 XD isn't exactly a ray tracing monster, but even Nvidia cards struggle with this game, especially with ray tracing on, and rely heavily on DLSS. But hey, my AMD card can't run DLSS, and quite frankly, neither can a lot of Nvidia cards. So, sometimes you rely on other types of resolution scaling. Except that, for some reason, when I have ray tracing on in this game, on the current version of the game, it's just like not letting me use the resolution scaling. And besides, this isn't FSR, which a lot of people think is, you know, better than some of the more traditional resolution scalings. So hey, FSR, uh, yeah, not this, just because it says Fidelity FX Cast, and like I said, not working anyway. Oh, I wish we could put FSR on this game. Well, let's do it then, using lossless scaling. So you have to be set to windowed mode, by the way, for this to work. And the way I'm doing it, I'm going to select the render resolution that I want, and then we'll upscale it to the 1440p that my monitor's running at. So I just uh, ran the game at 1080p in windowed mode. Then you have to be running the lossless scaling app, which you can buy on Steam for $4.99, which I just did. Uh, the creator of the app sent me an email where I could have downloaded a version of this for free, but I think it was 1.5.5 because, frankly, I'm a little late to uh, getting around to that email. And because, you know, what, uh, I figured I should test the, the uh, you know, newest version, and I don't have an issue supporting with a, a little bit of money uh, for, you know, a cool app. Anyway, so to make this work, you want to select the scale type to FSR. They also have FSR Lite, which apparently has lower overhead but won't look quite as good. I'm mostly interested in the normal FSR version. Now there's a sharpness setting here, and this is really counterintuitive. Zero is sharpest, and it goes up to two, which is the least sharp. And a little feedback to the developer, I'd recommend switching that. A higher number makes sense to be sharper, in my opinion. Uh, really counterintuitive, but at least there is good documentation here, by the way. And I read through that to get a feel for how some of this stuff works. Anyway, there seems to be a couple different ways you could do this on the scale factors. You could go to custom and type in, like, I want to multiply this scale factor by this amount. But to me, what seems easiest is being on the auto mode, where what it's going to do is scale to my native resolution, which is 1440p, uh, from whatever windowed resolution I select. So I can basically use the resolution scale in the game as my you know, resolution scaling. So I can choose to render from 1080p to 1440p by just selecting 1080p, selecting Auto FSR, and then either hitting the scale hotkey or uh, hitting scale in five seconds. Now, one thing that seems to be important is making sure when you click this that you then click on the game so that it's selected. Otherwise, it will scale the wrong thing. But hey, we just did it. This is now scaled up to 1440p, despite the fact that it's selected at 1080p. Now again, it's still rendering at 1080p, but it's now applying FSR to the image. And you know what? I think it looks pretty good. And our frame rate is now in the mid-50s. So like here, we are at, you know, 53, 54, but remember how bad this was at 1440p. Let's go, go up to 1440p. My frame rate here is actually, let's let it stabilize, 35, you know. <laughs> it's not great, 1440p is a bit rough. Now there might be a tiny bit of uh, head um, headroom, uh, overhead from having the scaler currently applied, so let me, uh, Ooh, that's got my window in the wrong spot now. Let's let's actually maybe we can full screen it. Alt Enter. Uh oh. Well, apparently uh, we can trigger a little bit of glitchiness. We could go full screen that way. There we go. Um. Anyway, just from switching it off. But okay. Put my gun away. Somehow I pulled out my gun. I guess uh, Alt or something like that. So. 
my frame rate seems a bit higher here without the scaler running. So there is a little bit of overhead on that. And another way that we can do that, again, because running FSR does have some overhead. Another note from the developer seems to be that this implementation does have a bit more overhead than a native FSR implementation. Uh, so let's also try running 1080p full screen so that you guys can see what this looks like. This is not running the FSR scaler, OK? And notice that we're actually getting about 60 frames per second here. But also look at the image quality. In my opinion, the FSR upscaling does look better than this. This is just running the game at 1080p with no particular type of resolution scaling like FSR being applied to it. Uh, again, I think we're getting a slightly higher frame rate with this than running the FSR scaling. So to run the FSR again, I'm going to go back to windowed borderless. And then I am going to, by the way, I don't think it has to be borderless. It could just be windowed. Uh, let's go back to the scaler. And let's take one more look at that. So again, we're scaled up now. And... Again, frame rate a little bit lower. We were more like 60 when it was the native uh, F uh, the native 1080p without the FSR being uh, added in on it. So tiny bit overhead. It doesn't seem that bad, though. Not too bad compared to just running it at 1080p. OK, I, I do think this looks better. Let's talk about a couple of other things. Did I mention? that this breaks variable refresh rate. I'm checking out uh, the variable refresh rate right now, and my monitor is not syncing up. And this was mentioned to me by the developer in an email. And the claim is that if you like cap the frame rate of the game using Riva Tuner statistics or whatever that's called, and also cap the app, then that'll help it sync up and then then variable refresh rate might work. Honestly, that sounded like complicated, and I'm, I'm not testing it out in this video. I'm just testing the app as it is, because I feel like for the average user, the app's going to be a little bit rough. Let's also talk about some of the other negatives, which is as this is not a native implementation of FSR, it's being applied to the menus right now. Now, the menus look pretty good. I think you'd agree. But watch when I switch it back to, to 1440p. The menus do look sharper because they're being rendered at 1440p rather than being rendered at 1080p, right? See it? A little bit softer and then upscaled. So that might also cause issues with certain post-processing effects like film grains and things like that. So this is not as good as a native FSR implementation where menus would not have that issue. And again, I think it would also have less overhead. It would not break variable refresh rate. So I'm sounding a bit negative here. But honestly, I'm extremely happy that this exists. And I think this is also uh, a huge thank you to AMD for actually making FSR open source so that people can develop apps like this. Anyway, image quality comparison wise, once again, here's a look at the FSR. Um, upscale from 1080p. And then we could run it back to 1440p and take a look. I do think the 1440p looks a little bit better, but you're getting a huge, huge frame rate boost uh, by running it at 1080p. Let's switch back to that 1080p one more time. Now, I mean, you could be even more aggressive than 1080p. We could, you know, <laughs> just for funsies, run down to like, OK, let's run down to 1050p. Well, it's like an ultra wide or something, isn't it? Let's go, uh, what, is 1600 by 900? Like, is that, that, that would be 16.9. OK. Looking a bit rough. I don't think I'd go that low. But hey, it's nice to have the option. Um, and myself actually playing at 4K actually find these resolution scales look really good, uh, especially running at like 1800p instead of 2160p. Uh, I'm doing the video at 1440p because I know that more of you watching it are actually on a 1440p screen. Let me say just a couple more things about this uh, lossless scaling thing. So apparently it does uh, have HDR support added in, uh, which I haven't really tested out. 
uh, but it does have it, which is nice. The, and you can also allow screen tearing if you want to. So there's a whole bunch of documentation here uh, about how this works. And again, this doesn't just have FSR. It does have FSR Lite, which is a little bit um, easier to run, developed by somebody else apparently, uh, but then added in here again because it's open source. And uh, But again, I don't think it's supposed to look quite as good, so that's not going to be the one that I would run with. So, yeah, I would suggest that they switch the um, sharpness numbers there. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. And again, it doesn't just do FSR scaling. You could do other types of scaling as well. So there's other uses for the app. I think it is pretty cool. But uh, I will also mention that I've also tested this out in Control. And I might do other videos on this. But in Control, I've got to say that I preferred the built-in resolution scaler. Uh, to using the FSR. I think I was getting better frame rates and as good or better image quality. So I think the main use case for this is games that either don't have a good resolution scaler or like right now for me in Cyberpunk, I can't make it work. <laughs> it's bugged or something. What do you guys think in the comments section? I think it's fantastic that we have this and it has a lot of room for improvement. I hope all you have an excellent day.